Hey guys, Doug here. Here's uh, something I've just been working on. Not very long, but uh, it's just a method of having extremely long delays on uh, repeaters. Uh, I could have built it a little bit larger, but I have another another thing that I built. Didn't really plan it. And uh, right here, I have just a string of repeaters uh, that's equal to the size of my contraption. And... Uh, I'll flick it on and I'll start talking about it a little bit. Basically what it is is an RS Norn latch right here, a small vertical one. But then I extended it over to add another input on this one side. And um, then basically I've just got a bunch of a four part AND gate going into that. Four input AND gate and this, this will be the output. Then I extended, extended it to uh, mirror both sides and uh, also I had to do a two take delay so they'd start in sync with each other and uh, what I have here is a piston toggleable uh, pulse clock it'll be on for four ticks but I've got all of them on for four ticks and that's just so because uh, torch inverters and like this don't really work very well with one tick so uh, four ticks just fine and I've got a uh, I'm talking about total repeaters it'll be eight nine uh, ten and then eleven that's repeaters not ticks and if you find the least common denominator or correction the least common multiple on those that's when they should all be off at the same time you, you get almost 4,000 repeater cycles which comes out to over 15,000 ticks and uh, divide that by by 10 to get uh, 1500 seconds or roughly 26 and a half minutes and as you can see this thing is still going nice and happy while well, this has been well this has been done for quite a while so if you need an extremely long delay you know you don't you don't need to do anything uh, very special it's just you know use, use math to your advantage like uh, I did notice something I well before I built this other half I had it cut off right here and um, I noticed that if I could just stagger them by like one tick, like for instance, I changed that one to a one tick. Uh, for some reason, it would last pretty uh, a long, lot, lot longer than uh, it would uh, without it. So. Uh, And uh, another uh, good thing about this is when uh, you, c you could just cycle the uh, the output from just about anywhere on this. You could uh, do it here and then invert it or not invert it off of these. You could do it anywhere off of off of this line. Get it out. Just very easily you could just put an output anywhere you want on there and it's it's not gonna have a very long output I mean uh, this this will just stay on but uh, for instance like if you had an output going from this torch it'd just be a quick little pulse uh, that would just turn on this one would just turn off these would turn on that would turn on yeah you know it, it's pretty limited uh, unlimited or for instance say uh, you wanted something to just go a certain number of cycles you could build the clock and then uh, do the least common denominator like for instance I, I could build a uh, a four clock real quick or actually it'd be a uh, tw 
12 o'clock, but... And, uh... Did I give myself enough room? No, not really. Like, for instance, I could bolt a five repeater clock right here. And a four right here. Oh, man. Uh, a button. There we go. Oop. There we go. And as you can see, the clocks both work. So now we just need a our snore latch. I guess a I built it a little bit different here than I did over there. So let's take this out. All right, that works fine. Nope, something didn't work fine. Is that one circling? Nope. There we go. And then uh, what I did for the other one was I just uh, extended this out a little bit. I'm going to have to kind of jury rig it a little bit. So this one should uh, go through its cycle five times or so. Yep, there. There you go, five times. See that again? Because the least common denominator of four and five would be 20. 20 divided by five, or 20 divided by four would be five, so. And it'd, it'd cycle this one four times. It's just, uh, but for instance, like if you did like, uh, I don't know, four or five and then like a, a seven right here, then it'd be, it'd be a lot larger. It'd be a, I don't know, 140 repeater. So, uh. Thanks for, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or uh, suggestions, uh, let me know.